Do you want to make your security challenge questions impossible to guess? Your accounts will be more secure than ever before, and it'll be easier than you ever thought possible. Let's talk. Security challenge questions are those questions that you have to answer when you're setting up an online account. They're designed to be simple things that you know, so that if you ever forget the password to your account, which happens, then you can answer these questions, it prove that you are you, and you can get back into your account, reset your password. These questions are usually pretty simple and straightforward. Who is your favorite teacher? What's the name of your pet? Where did you grow up? Things like that. Some sites do let you select your own questions in addition to the answers, but you're usually picking from a selected list of questions. But there's a couple of problems here. First off, sometimes the questions can be a little bit vague or have more than one answer. Who is your favorite teacher? Maybe you have many. Or sometimes you make up answers because you don't want anybody to guess it. And then when it's time to answer the question, you forget what you made up. But one of the big problems with security questions like this is that you are often not the only person who knows these answers. Anybody with Google can usually find out where you went to high school, where you grew up, things like that. Especially if you've put this information out there on social media. Fortunately, we're living in a wonderful age and 1Password can help us solve both of these problems in one fell swoop. Let's take a look. Find or create the login and click edit. Click on add more to create a new section. We're gonna call this security questions. Now let's add a field. This is the first one gonna be just a text field and we're gonna call this Q1. What? It's the make and model of your first card. I'm just taking this right off the website. Now add another field. We're gonna change this to password. We're gonna create a new password. You switch it from random password to memorable password and tell it to use as many words as will fit into the field. Sometimes they only let you use a certain number of characters. Use as many as you can. Let's just, I'm gonna go with six because it looks good for now. Click use. I'm gonna change this to A1 so that it matches up. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two questions. Now using a memorable password here is slightly less secure than just leaving it as a regular password. That's nothing more than letters and numbers and symbols, oh my. There's a lot more entropy in that kind of a password than there is in a sequence of words strung together. But it's still an improvement. Don't let best be the enemy of the better here. Do you use a password manager? Do you use it for more than just storing passwords? Share your tips in the comments. And there you go. Now we've got our three incredibly strong and, and secure security response questions. And so we're just gonna save. And there you go, it's in one password. You don't have to remember it anymore, but it's here when you need it. If you're creating or updating your account, just copy the secure answer, paste it into the form on the website and go on to the next one, you're done. If you're on the phone with customer service, you can reveal it so you can read it to them. But most of the time you can just let one password manage it and you don't even need to know what the question is. Congratulations, your account is now more secure than ever. Not only do you not have to worry about forgetting what your answers are, but nobody else is gonna be able to guess them either. Thanks for watching. I'm Colter Reed. I'm here to help you get the day-to-day -day out of the way so you can stop chasing the dream and start living the dream. If you wanna know more, click subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified whenever a new video is available. If you thought that this video was useful, why don't you give it a thumbs up? That'll help other people discover it. Before you go, why don't you check out this video? YouTube thinks you'll enjoy it or go turn on two-factor authentication for as many accounts as you can. That, that's just a good idea, please. Your future self will thank you.